first time since 2005, the I-500 had a full field. 38 teams testing their endurance, seeing who could finish 500 miles on this one mile track, the fastest. This is pure Michigan, it's awesome. It's really great, because a volunteer effort to do something like this, and the way these guys are riding these sleds is just incredible. Sporting his new red I-500 snowmobile jacket, Governor Rick Snyder gave the green flag go to rev up the 44th annual I-500. The governor was fulfilling the only promise he made on the campaign trail two years ago while in the eastern Upper Peninsula. If he won, he'd be back. You'd know they're going fast. It's great to have him here. He's loving it. And the big thing is, what can we do to make this thing better? That's what we're striving for in the future. Thousands of people lined up along the track to watch these snowmobile drivers thumb the throttle and reach speeds of 140 miles an hour. The snowmobile skis will go airborne on the turns. The excitement and high octane of this race is a tradition in the Sioux. Just meeting all the guys and seeing the new sleighs that are out. I remember soon we have races. 80 laps in, the track started to kick up a little dirt, results of a poor week of weather to build up ice. At least they're getting it in, you know, we're happy about that. And race organizers agree. More than $3.5 million are expected to be pumped into the Sioux area with this weekend's race. We're the only show in town with the biggest, oldest, fastest, longest endurance race in the world, and obviously this is the place to be. And we know the governor can give the green flag, but could he race it? I asked him and he said, hit the brakes on that thought. Oh, I'm really glad it's them and not me because I would end up sprawled all over the track. So they're great athletes. If you really think about what they're doing to do this for 500 laps, you gotta be in great shape and great concentration. From the I-500 in Sault Ste. Marie, I'm Andrew Kelly, 7 and 4 News.